Okay, so another special right triangle. The other one is called a 45, 45, 90, which you've also seen and practiced and it's on your papers. Um, so this is 45, this is 45. So again, I want you to either write it on your paper or look at your notes um, so that you know what the pattern is. So if this is 45, this is 45, these two pieces are the W, they're the same, because it's an isosceles triangle, and then this one is W times the square root of two, okay? So, you're gonna be, this is a little way too, does it? Uh, two, okay? So, whatever these sides are, they're the same, and then you take that and you multiply by square root of two, okay? So, they're just trying to throw you off in this problem again, by already having a square root of two down here, but I'm gonna show you what to do. So, this is our W, this is our side, so this is 3 square root of 2. This side needs to be 3 square root of 2. Okay, so B is 3 square root of 2. It's just the same number. Okay, then A, your hypotenuse, would be W square root of 2. So we have W square root of 2. Okay, so our W this time was this. So we're going to put 3 square root of 2 and then bring down that other square root of 2. Okay. A square root of 2 times square root of 2 cancels, and you're left with 2. So it's just 3 times 2, which gives you 6. Okay? So that's how you do that problem. It's, you should be able to do all of those by now, hopefully. If you're still confused, let me know. Okay? Um, all right. So number 81 is a trig problem, which I know you all have that written down in your papers, too. But All right. So they want you to do sine of A. Okay, so here's A, okay, and then so sine is opposite over hypotenuse, okay, which is also on your paper in your notes. All right, so you start at A, and you point across the triangle to find the opposite, okay, and then if you start at the 90 and point across, you'll find the hypotenuse, okay? So it's opposite over hypotenuse, so we're going to do 36 over 39, okay? Um, and so that can simplify down because they're odd numbers and they both have three in them. So if you simplify down, you'll get 12 over 13. And that's all you have to do for those problems. You're just setting up the fractions. All right. Okay, I got two more problems to show you and then that should help you with the packet.